Do you love weird stuff, psychological horror, and most importantly, are you human? Then you're going to love Alan Wake too. Side note, you can send this to your friends that you're trying to talk into playing Alan Wake 2. It's highly effective. Alan Wake 2 is literally everything you've ever wanted in a video game, even if you didn't think to ask for it. If you've never played the first Alan Wake, you can still play and fall in love with Alan Wake 2. And the first Alan Wake recently received a remaster and is absolutely worth your time. Gameplay feels well-paced and weapons feel weighty. Even if you play it on easy, you'll occasionally feel you may not have enough batteries or ammo for what lies ahead. I also got jump scared so many times and screams and cursing ensued. Alan Wake 2 crafts a spooky and tense environment throughout and even when it's busy just being delightfully weird and wonderful, those moments are used to just break the tension just enough to then throw you right back into it again. And while we start the game off in the wildest way humanly possible, we follow Saga Anderson, an FBI agent who is investigating ritual murders around Cauldron Lake. A cult is thought to be responsible and supernatural elements follow. Saga investigates with the help of her partner, Alex Casey. I love Saga, and as a protagonist, she's compelling. Her mind place is a fantastic gameplay mechanic that helps us to get to know her as a character, as well as connecting us to the story itself. Her wrestling with the implications of what's going on around her offers grounded and compelling pathos. Her character keeps the game from feeling too full of itself at times, and Saga questioning the events makes the premise feel more accessible. Through the investigation, she finds Alan, and we get to switch between these two protagonists. Saga acts as a foil to Alan Wake, who is wholly consumed with the tragic events that led us to where we are. Saga's levels feel fantastic. She starts off grounded, and it's a great way to ease us into the world of Alan Wake 2. Meanwhile, Alan Wake takes us through some of the more confusing and disturbing moments, but as the game goes on, we begin to see more of a cohesive feeling and narrative moments from each of our protagonists. Both Saga and Alan have two of the best video game levels I've ever played in any video game. They feel epic, important, and deeply impactful. You truly feel like you're on the hero's journey. Speaking of heroes, there's a hidden YouTube Easter egg only you can get by clicking the super secret thumbs up icon. And if you're elite enough, the subscribe button actually goes all rainbow. Comment below if it worked for you. I, I think it's the only way I can escape the dark place. You know, obscurity on YouTube. We Sing is probably the single best video game level I've ever played in my entire life, bar none. I got so caught up, I just kind of got lost wandering around and ultimately had to replay the level. The first of the DLC, Night Springs, is out now, offering us three playable episodes of the Twilight Zone inspired in-game TV show. I found it an absolute f***ing delight and loved the extra dip into the Control universe and getting to see Jesse Faden. Yeah, by the way, Control and Alan Wake share a universe. You actually get to play as some of the characters you meet in the game, like Rose from the diner, as well as Sheriff Breaker, and oddly enough, Jesse Faden. You're gonna wanna play that one. I love sharing my excitement for Alan Wake 2. Have you played it yet? If you haven't, get out of here. Go play Alan Wake 2, then come back. Tell me how much you liked playing it. I'll holler at y'all later.